Hello everyone! In today's video, I will show you how to make a Calvados, or as it is commonly said, apple brandy. I invite you to the video. We need 20 kg of apples, yeast dedicated to cedar or for fruit setups, and a nutrient for yeast. While making Calvados, I don't use sugar to get the best flavor of the alcohol. If you want, you can add some sugar, because from 20 kg of apples, you will get only 1 liter of 40% alcohol. Remember that if you add too much sugar, the received alcohol would taste like a moonshine with a little bit of apple flavor, but not like a real Calvados matured in the oak barrels. Let's start it. On the beginning, we have to wash the apples, then remove the seeds from them. When the apples are properly prepared, Squeeze the juice out of them with a juicer or a fruit press. From 20 kg of apples, we will get about 12 liters of juice. Now, let's check how much sugar contain our juice. As we can see, the sugar content in our apple juice is equal to 16 grams per 100 milliliter, which is 16 BLG or 1.065 SG. The next step is to add yeast. Before we do that, however, you should check how to prepare them. You will find the instructions on the package. For the yeast I use, they should be hydrated with a little sugar and left for 15 minutes. In the meantime, add the nutrient for yeast to the apple juice, also following the instruction provided by the manufacturer. After 15 minutes, air bubbles form on the surface of the hydrated yeast and the whole thing gets more density. We can now add them to the setting and mix everything truly. We close the fermenter, install a fermentation tube filled with the water and set aside for 2 weeks. After two weeks, we filter the setting and leave it for another week for the so-called silent fermentation. Many people skip this stage, but believe me, the taste of the set is completely different. After the first two weeks, it tastes like a wine with a delicate apple flavor. However, after this one additional week, the intensity of the apple flavor grows a lot. So after filtering, we reinstall the fermentation tube and we put the fermenter aside for another week. After the silent fermentation is finished, we pour our already created apple cider into the still. During this operation, we filter the entire contents of the fermenter through a stainer or a cloth filter. Then we put the alembic on the stove and turn on the heating. Before the setting reaches the right temperature, we install all the accessories. We seal all the alembic joints with a mixture of rye flour and water. You can also do it with a Teflon tape. When the temperature reaches about 80 degrees Celsius, we start the first distillation. 
we pour out the first 50 ml and then collect all the alcohol. We finish the distillation when the temperature in the still is about 95 degrees Celsius and the strength of alcohol received drop below 20%. If you want to learn more about the entire first distillation process, I invite you to watch my other videos in which I have discussed the whole process in more detail. You can find the link in the description under the video. After the first distillation is completed, we obtain about 1.5 liter of alcohol with a strength of 30%. In the next step, we have to dilute the alcohol to obtain a 20% alcohol content. And we proceed to the second distillation, in which we separate the four runs, tails, and receive the so-called hertz of our alcohol. A link to the movie, in which I discuss the entire process in detail, can also be found in the description under the movie. The preparation of the still is the same as during the first distillation. The obtained alcohol is divided into three groups. Please watch the video where it is explained in details. As we can see, from 20 kg of apples, we were able to get 700 ml of moonshine with 65% alcohol. This is about 1 liter of 40% alcohol. In order to make a calvados from it, it should be placed in the oak barrel and left it for at least 2 years to get the right character. If you keep your oak barrel at home, this time will be shorter, about 7 to 12 months. If you like the video, please leave the thumbs up and some comments. I also invite you to subscribe to my channel.